I'm here at the local Target where I did confirm they are getting the new Joes and I'm just waiting to open the door. Should be one of the first ones in and we'll see if they even have them stocked yet. Well, that was a bust. Um, I did meet a guy who watches the show in there. That was really cool, but uh, they don't have the G.I. Joe figures. In fact, the guy scanned the codes and they said that uh, the, um, uh, the street date has been pushed out to uh, 814, which, I mean, we know that's not true. Uh, and I talked to somebody in there yesterday who said uh, that they did have them, but they have not been stocked. Um, so they either, uh, either the guy's wrong or somebody has made it here and uh, convinced an employee to sell them those toys uh, before the 8-1 street date. So there's one more target to go to. Uh, I've been to two so far. Uh, no Joes yet, so we'll see if there's any better luck at the last one. I'm now at my third target of the morning. I'll put my mask on and let's see if we have any better luck here. Um, I'm in South Tulsa. I'm way south now. If this doesn't work, there is another option. There is Owasso, which is way north, but um, hopefully we don't have to do that. Let's see if we can find some Joes here. So, the lady in there said they have some, apparently, like on a pallet that they don't even have uh, broken out yet. So, she can't even get to them, although they are on the premises. So, you know what that means? It means we have to go to Owasso. Okay, I've driven from South Tulsa all the way to north of Tulsa to Owasso, and we'll see if uh, we have any better luck here. Will this store have what I'm looking for? No, but we're going to try anyway. What's this? What's this? One left. And it is the one... That I absolutely had to get. It's the Cobra Trooper. Oh my god. I did it. I did it. I got one Cobra Trooper. Well, that's the figure I was wanting to get. I'm, uh, I'm unhappy that it was the last one. Uh, I like to leave something for someone else. But in this case, uh, I, it was either grab the last one or go home empty-handed. After hitting four targets um, in this region, that's quite a lot of driving before 9 a.m. I haven't had coffee, uh, starting to get a little grumpy, but this raises my mood a little bit. Uh, let's take this Cobra Trooper home and open it. This is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Target Exclusive Special Missions Cobra Island Cobra Trooper. That's a mouthful. This guy has more names than Apollo Creed. Let's take a look at the figure in the box before we open it up. On the front, we have the window pane that clearly shows the figure and accessories. We have the artwork. I like this artwork. This is the style of artwork I'd like to see on all of the classified series. It even shows a hiss tank in the background. That's pretty cool. We have the Special Mission Cobra Island branding. That's for the Target exclusive series. This is number 12 in the classified series. On this side of the box, it has... Uh, some icons that represent his specialties um, looks like that I think that's supposed to be infantry and uh, those are bullets I guess maybe he is an expert with a machine gun and uh, fighting uh, karate or whatever and I think this is supposed to represent sabotage on the other side we have some more of that really nice artwork uh, he looks, I don't know, almost like uh, uh, supernatural in this artwork. That's really cool looking. Uh, really nice artwork on the side. And we've got, yeah, yeah, we've got his buddies here. Uh, a nice group shot of the Cobra Trooper. On the back, we have uh, some artwork that is the same across the series. But this is different from the artwork on the regular classified series. Showing that artwork side by side with the regular classified series, you can see the difference. Uh, this uh, so classified series has this poster style artwork on it. And this is uh, an overview of Cobra Island with some of the details highlighted. That looks great. This sort of 
reminds me of the map that was included in the Cobra Civil War story arc in Marvel Comics back in the 80s. Of course, this map is not the same. It looks like we have different details, but it is reminiscent of that, and it's very nostalgic for me. I think this is a cool thing, and uh, I like this artwork. The UPC is on the bottom. On the top, we have the number 12 and a Cobra emblem, and we have a red background uh, to denote an enemy action figure. Uh, the Joes have a blue background, so that's a nice contrast and uh, sort of a callback to the G.I. Joes of the 1990s, where the card back had a red background for enemy figures and a blue background for Joe figures. Now it's time to open this up and pull everything out. All right, pulling the plastic tray out with the figure, and behind the figure it has, oh, this is cool. It has the terror drone with the fire back in the background, Really nice. That's a nice touch. This series really, for the most part, is well done. Here's the Cobra Trooper with all of his accessories, and in my opinion, he looks great. This is the one I really wanted to get. I've been waiting for some kind of Cobra Trooper, and they gave us one that is reminiscent of the classic 1982 version 1 Cobra Trooper, the old blue shirts, and of course they've updated the design a bit as they have with all the classified series but they've kept certain key elements of that classic figure he's got his blue helmet he's got his black face mask he's got that red cobra emblem directly in the center of his chest a classic cobra blue uniform still has his knee pads and those boots i have all the accessories on this figure but you don't have to configure it this way he comes with these night vision goggles with the red slits on the eyes it's very reptilian they look cool but you don't have to have those on the figure you can remove those and he can just wear his helmet and I think he looks really good with just the helmet that looks more like that classic trooper that helmet is pretty sweet too I like the shape of it I like the black details on it really nicely done he's wearing a black tactical vest over his torso and I I don't think this vest is removable. It might be, but I don't see an obvious way to remove it. Uh, but that's okay with me. I know some collectors have a problem with non-removable vests. That's really not a problem with me. I can't complain about that. The vest holds three accessories. He has a knife that can fit snugly if you press it down in far enough. He's got two pistols. He's got one in the front. And around the back, he has another one, but you kind of have to move this other weapon out of the way. Uh, so those pistols are the same. He has two pegs on the back of the vest for pegging on his weapons, uh, his rifles. But um, this pistol kind of gets in the way a bit, so you have to keep that in mind. Both of his rifles have pegs, so you can peg them on the back. And I appreciate them giving a way to store the weapons. That does not include boring a hole straight through the weapon, as with Snake Eyes. He has two rifles, both in black. He has this sci-fi looking assault rifle, which I think looks fine. It does have the peg on the side, and that's a bit obvious, but I don't mind that so much because it does give us uh, a way to store the weapon on his back. Very nice. Um, I have heard a rumor that these rifles, uh, this and the other one he comes with, are based on Nerf guns. Uh, that's interesting, and I'll have to take a closer look at that when I do a full review on this figure. His other rifle appears to be based on the Dragunov sniper rifle that the version 1 figure came with. It's long, it's more of a sniper rifle type. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to get in his hand, but it can work. You can do it. It's a good, well-detailed weapon with another peg, as you can see, and you can peg that on the back. As to whether you can peg both at the same time, I don't think so i think there's just not enough room and this pistol gets in the way you might be able to like force it oh yeah i forced it but um now this covers up this pistol on his back so you kind of have to decide if that's the way you want to do it rumor is this is also based on a nerf gun so we'll take a closer look at that sometime in the future i put this red band thing on the figure's arm that's the only way i could think of to put it on the figure there are no instructions on 
where this is supposed to go. And I looked at the artwork for any clues, and I didn't see any. It has the Cobra Officer's chevron, and on the Cobra Officer, the chevron is pointed down. So I thought this is the way it should go. So I guess if he's wearing this, it designates him as an officer. Uh, but you can remove the left hand, like so, and you can you can pull this off now it's a tight fit over that elbow but you can remove that and now he is a regular non-commissioned officer trooper that was my overview of the cobra trooper how would i rate my cobra island street day experience not good i went to four targets to get one guy and it's not a matter of the scalpers getting to the figures before I did. For the first two targets I went to, I was there when the doors opened. The first one opened an hour earlier than the second one. Uh, I didn't get video of that because I forgot my phone. I was a little bit excited and eager to get in and see if they had the figures. I did talk to an employee at each of those targets. The, at the first target, the guy simply said they don't have any. At the second target, I had been there the day before four and I was told they did have them but they couldn't sell them to me until the following morning well the following morning comes and I'm there as soon as the store opens again it opened an hour later than the other one I, I'm the first one through the door and they don't have them I ask an employee and he says no the street date for those is August 14th even though we know that's not true, we know that was moved up to August 1st, but this guy was clueless and they did not have the figures on the pegs. At the third target, again, figures not on the pegs, I talk to an employee, she scans them, she checks them, she says they're on some pallet somewhere and she can't get to them, so she can't even pull them out of the back to sell them to me. So I drove to Owasso. Hasbro, you made me drive to the target in Owasso, and this was the last last guy there. There were a couple classified figures of the general release classified figures. Not many of those either, but this is the last of the Cobra Island figures. It is the one I wanted. Um, it was the main focus. I wanted the Cobra Trooper. I got the Cobra Trooper, but last one. Even though originally this is the only one I was going to get, I was considering picking up the whole series if it was available, but I never even had the chance. I will check back at those other stores in the future, but I'm not in a big hurry. Either I will find them eventually at retail or I will order them online. But what I will not do is pay scalper prices for them and neither should you. Do not reward scalpers for taking all of the stock before anyone else has a chance to get them. I hope you're enjoying Cobra Convergence 5 so far. You should have already seen G.I. Joburg's kickoff of the event. I will have a video up tomorrow. I will see you then. Until then, remember, only Cobra is Cobra.